is that it helps wake you up. It improves your mood, improves hormone output, it improves focus. It's good for so many aspects of but biology. How do I do and it, it helps you hurting and it helps eyes. you sleep at night. Okay, so what you want to do, people have different levels of sensitivity. You want to look in the general direction of the sun. Okay. If it's low in the sky, it's no problem. You could literally look at it like this. Now the higher it gets in the sky, the more imposing it is and you'll want to close your eyes. If it if it forces you to blink, you need to look away from it a little bit. Indirect light is fine on a real really clear day. Yeah. Um, if it's if it's very, very bright and you need to blink, blink. I'd say take your sunglasses off for doing this. Eyeglasses and contacts are fine. And after, you know, two, three minutes, you're good. Mm -hmm. And if you're walking to work in the morning, it's a nice sunny morning, but the sun, you know, is New York, so a lot of the sun is blocked by these big buildings. You just get the indirect sunlight. And that's okay, yeah, too? That's okay. But through a window, these tinted windows that are everywhere here or through a windshield, it's not going to happen. It's yeah. just never going to set this this mechanism uh, in the ways you need. So if you, you know, watching a sunset, you can literally watch it. Yeah. Right? Isla Vista, we used to watch sunsets, right? Yeah. We had to disappear off Del Playa with the oil rigs out there. And every, for the people who don't know, there are these oil platforms that sit off the beach in Santa Barbara and they, it seeps up all this tar. Mm. Um, but it's very beautiful sunsets out there. And you can look directly at it when the sun is low yeah. in the sky. Um, when the sun is overhead is t when it tends to be really bright. Don't stare at it directly. And what is the advantage of this? It just wakes you up or something besides so, that? So you have neurons, nerve cells in your eye that connect, that when that sunlight hits them, they send a signal to your brain that's a wake-up signal. Gotcha. Improves your mood, increases testosterone, it um, increases metabolism, it lets you focus better, and it sets a timer so that you can fall to sleep fall asleep at night about 12 to 16 hours later. If you're oh, not getting light in your eyes, and if you wake up and you're just on your phone, that's fine if the sun isn't out. But if you're on your phone for the first two hours a day and then you get outside and get sunlight and the sun's already overhead and you're, you go out with your sunglasses on, that kind of thing, you're, you're going to find it's very hard to fall asleep that night. Because you're not setting the timer. That's right. Oh. Think of the morning, the morning bright light as your wake-up signal. Got you. Get as much sunlight in your eyes as you safely can throughout the day. I wear sunglasses, but not when I do this morning sunlight viewing. And then in the evening, try and catch some sun before it goes down. In the winter, obviously, that's going to happen earlier. Yeah. And then at night, you really want to try and dim the lights. It'd be, I always say, like like the fighters at the fight last night, like we're, wearing sunglasses. Yeah. You know, dim dim the lights, dim the dim the screens um, between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. Now, look, you guys were at the fight last night. I happen to be there too. I'm sort of a new UFC fan, uh, so I'm not very educated on this. But it was really bright. It's not a big deal every once in a while yeah. to get stay up late. I was up till yeah. one thirty, which for me is very late. But you know, eight, I would say eighty percent of the days and nights of your life, get some sunlight in your eyes and try and dim the lights at night. But I mean, you're in New York, yeah. bright lights, big city, yeah. right? So you're going to have to do a little bit more sunlight viewing in the early part of the day. Okay. And if you wake up and the sun isn't out yet, you know. Once it's out, get out there. That's, okay. Yeah, it has, it has huge outside positive in. effects I'm, on your I health. I get it now because you I didn't you understand won't believe it first. Like a lot of guys are, or, and women say, oh, you know, I don't feel well. I'm having trouble focusing. I'm having trouble sleeping. Yeah. Before we could get into any discussion about supplements or hormone therapy or ice baths and saunas, all that stuff is great. But the number one thing for health is going to be quality sleep. And the best way to get quality sleep is to get sunlight in your eyes early in the day. And on cloudy days, when you can't see the sun, people always say, there's no sun here. I'm like, the sun is still there. Yeah. It's just, and you get a lot of sun through that those clouds. Just get outside a little